Hello ladies, gents and rogue AIs, we're going to do a challenge run of Teleglitch. On this challenge run, we're going to use no yellow items. That is the challenge of this run. We will have no power legs, no detector, no shock blade, nothing other than our weapons, our explosives, and our wits. And let's see how far we can make it. I've been very curious to see how the gameplay works without all these pretty much staples of the endgame that you absolutely... Well, I'm hoping you don't absolutely need them, but they become so extremely important to... to be able to beat the game. Uh, especially the power legs and the detector, they are about the most important things you can possibly find. Cannon rounds. Well, 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 so that's how you make... Uh, empty can and a regular... Wow, that's not much at all. So you just need a bit of explosives. Smaller explosives and uh, some empty cans. And you can make cannon rounds. I did not know that. That might make it worth it to craft it, especially now that we're not carrying yellow items. Uh, we'll have some extra inventory slots. All right, not use any... any um, uh, what you call them? Let's craft a can gun, of course. My most, very most favorite. Ah! Ah! That's bullshit! I was going to stab him. I used the freaking Medkit 50 instead. That was dumb. That was silly. That's okay, though. I'm not broken up about it. We're going to find a lot more. Yes, you wait. There. And so we're going to actually explore every single bit now. I assume this is going to be a much, uh, slower, much more cautious, hopefully more tense and more interesting run of Teleglitch without using, again, oh, that was, a neat, that was a neat shot, without using yellow items. Let's explode without, without making me explode. <laughs> Damn zombies running in circles around me. Can't make delicious. Yeah, let's, let's use it. All this good stuff up there. Um, and I'm wondering, should I use a nail gun? It's probably the best best idea. Yeah, especially because I'm not going to be using the tubes to craft power legs. It's kind of weird. It's uh, it's liberating in some way. I'm thinking, okay, I don't need to reserve certain items to craft certain items. I can actually be more liberal in my crafting of. Uh, consumables, crafting of stuff that will help me out. Of course, this means that there will be no teleporters, any, uh, um, uh, no teleporters uh, as well. So, it's going to be very, very cautious run. Oh, whoa. Oh, damn, I got punched too many times. Of course, these are, you know, they're lowly zombies and mutants. So, few punches here and there, they really don't matter. I would like to get that achievement so at some point where you done, do not get a single point of damage throughout the entire level. I don't think I'll ever do though because I'm just not good enough to stab uh, enemies without getting punched throughout the entire level and I am too obsessive uh, to leave a level without exploring the entirety of it. I mean I could do it Theoretically, if I found the teleporter right away, this is the tutorial, right? Yeah, it's just a little bit of lore about the teleglitch anomaly. Bottom line, it makes your brain explode. <laughs> uh, there. Haha! -ha. I have another, uh, other ideas for... You're, I, I, I hope you feel welcome to suggest challenge runs for me to do uh, in the future. Uh, but I ha also have the idea of maybe doing a run without firing a single bullet. I have to rely entirely on things that are not based on bullets or shells, which are pretty much lasers and explosives, and of course the knife. It will also be very, very challenging run, but I think it's doable. I think that's one of the doable challenges. And that's the thing, it's trying to figure out what is a challenge that is actually doable, because the whole speedrun thing which I'll still attempt, don't get me wrong, I'll still try to do speedruns, but I think it's pretty much impossible to finish the game uh, simply just running forward blindly and 
uh, relying on whatever we happen to come across. I don't think that is a sustainable, a tenable proposition there. Have we explored the rest of the land now? There's still that small wing down there and little else. Good to know. We're almost done with the first level. There's some goop there that I might want to use if I find lots of mutants. Ugh. I... Open area that we're going to have to stab a whole bunch of monsters in. Oh, that's, uh, that's a secret room. Uh, is it worth... Ah, let's just stab them. They shouldn't punch me too much, I hope. If I continue just backpedaling like this, they'll punch me a couple times. That's a third, that's a fourth, that's a seventh, that's a hundredth. And that's a wall glitch. Like we noticed so many times. Wow, they punched me way too many times. Probably was better off simply using an explosive on these guys, but whatever, man. I don't care. Ah, uh, here was the thing that we're going to pretty much trade a shotgun shell for an explosive. Oh, come on, I know there's a secret room there. I know it. There. It's always an explosive, such as a can gun. We should find another, though, and it should have a nail bomb. I don't even know if I want to grab... Okay, here's the exit, so we're going to go the other way because we have been found the canned meat storage, and that is a must on this level, especially after I consumed that 50 medkit by mistake, like a complete idiot. What a dickwit. It has to be somewhere around here, and if not here... I must have missed it in the tiny, tiny room that I did not explore any secret rooms here. If only for the sake of completion, I will get into that secret room because it will... I would really like to get also get the achievement of you found every secret room in the game, 95% of them. Very much to get that as well. Alright, here we go. Such a shame on the last run. I, I keep thinking about it, how I could have done this differently. I wish I hadn't just rushed into that room, straight into that arms, the deadly, deadly arms of that squid. It just wrapped it, its arms around my face and asphyxiated me. Unpleasant, an unpleasant experience, I'll tell you that much. So, oof, this is kind of weird. Oh no, we, we, we found the, the canned meat storage, we have explored the entire the other level except that little bit of area down there that we're going to find out what's down there because it's pretty close. Do, 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 the science guy going through the fields, green and brown. It was monsters all around. Ooh, look at that. It was, it was an okay place to get that. Um, a third can gun or... Yeah, third can, can gun. I'm a great fan of them. And I'm wondering, should I even make cannon rounds? I'm going to wait, of course, until we actually get... Actually, I'm going to make one. How about that? I'm going to make one cannon rounds and updated the Adam database, database with it. That's good. Good news. And uh, we won't make any more, just in, but just to have it in case that we do manage to get that cannon. I'm going to try for it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. No storage cabinet, that is kind of a bummer. Let's go... Yeah, let's find out where do we want to go. I want to go... Um, I think it's in our best interest to go to the military biology sector. Left. Uh, because, you know, there's a challenge run. I'm not going to make it any harder than it needs to be. We're going to... Wow, my accuracy was abysmal. I'm not... I'm not I don't even care. That's not what this run is about. That looks like a secret room right there, or... That's the weirdest thing. What the hell is this? Does it blow up? No, I just wasted a whole bunch of ammunition. I just needed to make sure that I needed to find out what the hell that was about. Uh, there we have some extra explosives. I'm going to simply hang on to. And let's find... Blah! Huh. I missed. Eh. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on, you're supposed to be dead! It was a glancing hit. Oh, damn it, he punched me twice. Screw it! See you later, man. Nice knowing you. I knew you a little too intimately. Blair! Ah, yeah, we'll just stab them. 
Hä? Hä? Susa, ja! Wow! Ayo, masala, ye! Oh, yeah! He just did a, a nice somersault there. You didn't see it, but it was awesome. He was so freaking nimble. Let's get some extra stuff. Got bigger explosives. Shuriyasada! The science guy, he just has all these delusions wielding his knife. Okay, here's the blast doors area. We don't want to explore it yet because we're... What the hell is wrong with these mutants? Like, uh, I'm right here. Hello? You can try to kill me now. Let's go back and find where that blast door... Blast door door. Blast door uh, room is at. So we can activate it and not have to backtrack later. It's probably this way, it's usually before you even... Oh, okay, there you go. Let's find out what's back here, some hardware. Nothing that I want to craft with that hardware just yet. Uh, activate and run! Well, that's quite a few fat guys. I have strained the freaking mouth. He swallowed that one. Ah, damn it, I missed. That's not gonna kill it. Oh yeah, I did. No, I didn't. It's totally going to get back up. Ooh, ooh, what's up? What's up? Wow, man, <laughs> it's just not landing where it needs to land. Okay, that worked out. Uh, we're not going back there. We're going to find out what the blast doors happen. I should have simply. Oh, can't meet. And a revolver. I'm okay with a revolver in this run. We're going to use every single resource that we have available to us. Uh, there's blast doors on both sides. I've learned. I didn't. Realized that for the longest time. It was only in the last run that we realized that there's blast doors on both sides. And it just... Both did two different paths that you can take and they'll take you to different spots. Let's see if we can get these guys into the goop to make them go bloop. Alright, that worked out. <laughs> Neato. Neato! Mm -mm -mm, nothing back here. Looking for the, those secret rooms. <laughs> Ah, uh, did end. Uh, step one, step two. Stop. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lots of goop around this area. Pwah! Pathetic fool! No, I didn't mean to. Like that, I meant to. All right, a pistol. That's nice. One ammunition does the silver spoon use? Use machine gun bullets. Okay. Good to know. Thank you for telling me. It's very nice for you to tell me. Okay, so we explored this entire wing of the of the blast doors. This is not the way to go. So we're going to go to the other side. That is good news, actually. I would rather not backtrack. So it's good that we went to the side that does not have the exit. Uh, yes, uh, we came from that area. We're going to go through the blast door. Some more canned meat. Delicious. Delicious. I'm going to wait until uh, we use that med kit. Push our health over top. Over there. Over maximum. That's what I want to say. Mm, yeah, we probably want to do the nail gun, don't we? Yeah, we're totally going to go for the nail gun this run. Uh, an stimulant already. Yeah, why the hell not? We're going to carry all this junk at the bottom. Uh, and uh, let's carry on. Poof! Only one block of meat trap. Meat traps are awesome. My second favorite type of explosive after uh, the can guns. Let's find out what's up here. We have the revolver. The revolver ammunition is... It's even less of uh, of a pain the, in my heart to be rid of uh, of it than the nail gun. I would rather use the revolver than the nail gun. That was such a lucky uh, landing of that of that mine. There's nothing else here to use. That's disappointing. Some empty cans. <sighs> Zombies. They are much more prone to get close to me. The mutants that have become pretty trivial by now. I can stab them quite reliably. This is uh, a secret room here. 
Oh, come on. It was just strangely or weirdly explored little nook in there. That's too bad. That's fine, though. It's another pretty worth it. Totally worth it to go in there. We'll see you later. Uh, I guess we'll we'll hang out at some point in the future. Sometimes man, they just keep on going forward. That's what I wanted to happen. The, the fat guy. I don't care about the little guys, but the fat guys, I would much rather get rid of them. Through the goop. Ooh. Mailbox and more explosives. These guys. Ugh. I wanted him to jump into the goop. Uh, uh, let's grab some bigger explosives. Mm, yeah, no ammunition, okay. And a uh, fatter, a uh, fat thing, the bobber, Panzerfaust. Is this the only spot? No, we still have to go. Yeah, let's let's find out what's up here. May it might be just goop, or it might be what is it? Oh, just the other blast door area. So. We're going to go down here because it's bound to be a dead end. And we love dead ends. We want to explore everything and here is a secret room. Nice. What is it? What is it? What is it? What will we find? Nice! This is beautiful! Looking quite nice. Let's see how long we take to waste all this health. Okay, we're good to go here. Did I ever take the stimulant? No, I did not take the stimulant. I simply crafted one. Yeah, I'm thinking about earlier the other run that that we had that we had two stimulants in the inventory and I decided to take one uh, sounds good that it did me run straight to squid I want that in my in my gravestone ran run straight to a squid and died I think that got that guy <laughs> nice that was cool it just so happened to get the guy among all the other freaking monsters Mm -mm. I don't know why I keep uh, running in circles and stabbing when I have the goop right next to me. Is that a secret room? Nah, it's nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get this at max ammunition. We might not even have to kill these guys. We might just simply go away straight away. Nothing, nothing, nothing here. More mutants. Nothing back here either. It's not a dead end. It's almost a dead end, but it's not. I'm gonna shoot some of these guys because I can. I just felt like shotgun am uh, monster, okay? Please don't judge me. Uh, two. And some shotgun shells. Ah, man, that was dumb. I should have just used the damn shotgun shell. Oh, silly, silly, silly. There. Okay, I guess now it's time to consume all this canned meat. Uh, improve our nail gun. Finally, we have a worthy nail gun. We're going to try to get a three times nail gun this time. Mm, nah, nail ammo. That's what we're sticking with. I still have all these can guns that I have not used at, at all. But uh, there hasn't been anything worth using, honestly. Using it on, that is. And this is the exit. Sweet. This is the end of the play session because things are going kind of slow. So, and we're going to have a, a five video uh, series, it looks like, here. Yeah, there's even nothing to grab here, so let's jump into level three! Where things are going to start getting... To, starting to diverge from our usual state of affairs, because I will not be picking up or making any yellow items, and we'll see how that works out. I hope you stick around to see how that ends. Hopefully it will be at the end, uh, end of the game boss. One can only hope. But until then, I bid you farewell.